Thursday's workout is called Spin Move. Start your warm up with a 200 meter run into two rounds, 30 seconds per position, starting with shoulder taps. You're in a push up. Try to keep your hips level and try not to um, shift side to side. 30 seconds of shoulder taps. Then we're going jumping jacks. Mm hmm. Any day you're doing double unders in the workout, that's when your shoelaces always come untied. So, pro move. Uh, if you don't know about this, you can do advanced jumping jacks. Touch your hands behind your back for a little extra shoulder stretch. Ooh. Okay. Uh, push up to down dog. Maintain a straight plank as you lower your chest to the floor and then keep the lower back tight as you push your hips up. Then uh, jump rope is single unders, alternating singles, um, single leg singles, or start practicing those double unders. And then finally the up dog. Cobra stretch. Push up position, sink the hips to the floor. Yeah, perfect. After you do two rounds of that warm up, then we're going to a little bit of mobility. Chest stretch on the floor. Lay down, one arm's out to the side. Rotate your other hand behind your back and your foot back and across. Oh, I actually have advice for this one. Okay, let's hear it. Don't let your arm be down and your shoulder be rounded forward because then you're not getting a stretch. Out like a Y position and don't let that shoulder round forward into this. Keep that chest open. There we go. One minute per side in the uh, chest stretch. Then move over to a upright or a wall. One minute per side, sorry, 40 seconds per side. Calf stretch on the post. So put that uh, toe as high up as you can get it. Scoop the heel in close. And then using your arms to pull your hips and chest forward. If you don't feel anything, you're probably not doing anything. You can bring your heel a little bit closer to the post. Thursday's workout is spin move. Start with an 800 meter run, followed by three rounds of 50 double unders. Again, let's try to minimize bending of the hips and knees. That'll save a little bit of energy. Keep the hands in front of the hips as we're jumping. Then we're going into 25 ab mat sit-ups. Extend so that the hips and shoulders stay on the ground at the bottom of the rep. Stack the shoulders right above the hips at the top of each rep. 25 total and then 15 push-ups. Make sure you are moving your whole body, shoulders, hips together. Chest touches the floor, elbows stay close to the sides. Press back up to extension. So you're doing three rounds of that 50, 25, 15. Another 800 meter run, three more rounds of the work, and then a final 800 meter run. Uh, for any advanced athletes, we can uh, challenge ourselves on the push-ups by doing ring push-ups instead. So as you're at the top of the plank, you're gonna squeeze the rings together underneath you so that these straps are touching onto the uh, shoulders. And then as you descend, your uh, shoulder or upper arm is going to either touch the top of the ring or even pass below the top of the ring and then press back up to extension. Notice Carly doesn't let the rings push out to the side. We're always squeezing them underneath the body to keep uh, a little more efficient. As soon as you start pressing out, those rings are gonna start swinging all over the place. So keep them tucked underneath. The home gym variation simply cuts out those 800 meter runs, six rounds per time, double unders, ab mat sit-ups, push-ups. If you have access to an 800 meter run course, feel free to continue doing that. Thanks for watching guys. Bam.